today I'm going to be bringing you the first of our redstone tutorials. Uh, I'm going to be showing you some uh, beginner things, some harder things, and I'll show you a couple of ways to apply them. But getting started, uh, for those of you that don't know, there are inverters in Minecraft which allow you to switch a current from off to on. And as you can tell, this current is in the off uh, off position and this current over here is on because of the torch but we can reverse this by pushing this button and sending a current to this redstone which will then in turn turn this torch off and unpower this redstone so let's show you that goes off for a second comes back on and the way that this can be used is for an indicator light or anything like that. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how that would work. Just destroy some of this redstone. And if I slap another torch over here, see it's off because this current's off. But then when I push the button to apply the current, the torch comes on. So that can be used as a feedback for testing currents and whatnot. Now, one thing that I used in the station is something entirely different, but important nonetheless, is the ability to slow down currents by using repeaters. And what repeaters do are they delay the current a certain way so that it's easily manipulated. Um, it changes the amount of time that it takes from one block to another. So, torch is on, and here, I'll show you a control, just to show you how fast it would go. Alright, put a button on this. Alright, so that's how fast that would normally go. And now if we change the time on these repeaters to go slow, and all right, that's normal speed right there. Delayed, delayed more, and then delayed most. So once again, normal speed for the current to travel, and then delayed with four repeaters. As you can see, it traveled very slowly. And ways that this can be applied, well, there are a lot of them. Um, in the minecart train thing that I made, I uh, used it to delay how the tracks slowed, or rather how the carts were released into the loading bay. Um, just another demonstration of it being delayed. Um, uh, you can use it to apply current longer if you have multiple currents flowing to the same item. Uh, I have one of the indicator lights set up here double inverters and this track right here of redstone has no delay on it this has a little bit of delay more delay and then most delay now what's going to happen is the current's going to flow through here first through here second through here third and then through here last so that a constant current is being applied to that light for a longer period of time than a normal torch here is how fast the normal torch goes. A little over a second. And then this one, because of the multiple currents, stays on much longer. Um, that can be used if you need to time something or if you just need like an additional couple seconds of a redstone current being applied other than just a button. So you can use that, like I said, just to continue on currents. Um, over here is what I call a charged cell. If you need one single input to charge something continuously, but you don't want it to be a lever, you can push the button, and then each of the repeaters power itself, so it continually powers the next repeater and flows out the current, and it keeps the light continually on. Something entirely different is this over here. Now, you may be wondering how this light is pulsing. Well, let's look behind the wall. Behind the wall is what's called a five clock. Now, these uh, setups have to be made in odd numbers, but it has to be greater than three. Uh, if it's set up with three, it'll just burn out. 
Um, but this can be used, as you saw, to create the flashing light. Now, it's solid right now because the current's no longer switching. But what happens is this current is off, which goes into here, the inverter. So this one's on. On current goes into here, inverter off, off, on, on, off, off. And then when I put this on, it's going to change this off current to an on current and so on. It's going to flip all the currents. And it'll do that continually and just continue to flash the light outside. Now, this can be used to switch tracks too. If you want to continually switch a track, I don't know why I put the redstone down. Um, if you need to continually uh, switch a track or I will show a video of another application later, but it doesn't really have a use, but it's a flashing floor. Um, you need one of those. But if you had any questions of what went on today or how things could be used or what you want me to display in my next video, uh, just leave a comment, or send us a message, um, just give us some feedback, really. Um, but that's it for today. Thanks, guys.